Hello inventors, welcome to the channel. And today I want to talk about the problem that can happen in some countries uh, where the Creality Prints can came uh, without the Wi-Fi enable on the firmware of the printer, okay? So if you live in, in a country where you are receiving your Creality Prints like K1, K1 Max, K1C, and you can't find the Wi-Fi configuration on the, the, the printer uh, display, so this is the video where I will teach you how simple it is to fix this problem on the Creality Printers, okay? So keep tuning and let's invent. So all printers from the flagship series or the K series like K1, K1 Max and K1C, those printers has a Wi-Fi chip to connect to your local network. So in some cases, those printers are coming without the Wi-Fi enable on the firmware. So this is not a physical problem. This is just a matter of a firmware version. Okay. So for some reason, uh, some people are receiving uh, printers without the Wi-Fi enable. And this is very, very simple to fix. So the first step, it's going to Google and type the, the model of your printer, K1, K1 Max, K1C, or any other printer you have. So type the model of the printer, then followed by the word firmware and the word download. So right on the results, you must pay attention on the domain of the website. So click only on the www.creality.com because there are uh, phishing websites that are uh, registering domains very similar to Creality. The only goal of those websites are uh, capturing or getting your data or trying to mark your machine uh, with a cookie to apply uh, phishing or any other kind of spam and try to uh, steal your money or your identity or something like that. So pay attention to the domain. Only click on the www.creality.com uh, websites or links on the Google results. So clicking on that link, you will go to the download page of Creality website. So inside the website, you can double check the name of your printer at the top and right on the first block of links, you will have the firmware. So just choose the latest one, paying attention to the publishing date, uh, you can see on the right column. So take the last one, because if you don't do that, uh, the printer will have to update the firmware again uh, right after connecting to your network. So, so choose the latest one and download this file. This file, it's a IMG file, that it's a kind of a image that you uh, you usually can use to uh, create a boot pen drives or you can record that inside a media or something like that. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to mount uh, this image. This is an image built to work only with uh, the Creality uh, operation system inside the Creality printers. So just save this file into your computer. Now you have to take a pen drive or a flash drive. I don't know how you call this in your country. So this is a USB memory card. Just take one that you are not using for important things, okay? Because you will have to format it. So when you are formatting, just pay attention to the parameters. So use FAT32, use the rest of the parameters I'm showing you on the screen, okay? So choosing that, wait for uh, the formatting process finish, and then just copy the file you download from Creality website into this pen drive. You don't have to mount, you don't have to use any kind of special software, special program, nothing. Just copy the file and paste into your pen drive. Now, the only thing you have to do is turning on your printer, wait to the, the printer to be fully available for you. So you can see the home screen on the printer display. And now, put the pen drive into the USB port at the front of your printer. So on the screen, you will see a pop-up telling you that a newest version of the firmware has been detected on the pen drive. So just confirm and go ahead and just wait a few minutes. 
After installing, the printer will reboot and then will tell you that after a firmware update, you should run the auto leveling and the input shaping. So just select this two option, start the process and just wait the process to be finished. OK, so after that, you can go to the configuration tab and then you will find the network tab at the top and there you can find your local network, your local Wi-Fi network, and then you can set up using your password and voila. Now you can send prints through the Creality Print instead, keeping recording that on the pen drive and having to be physically uh in front of your printer every time you want to send a print uh to run on your printer okay so i hope you enjoy this tip uh this very very short tutorial and don't forget to subscribe here because we have a lot of other contents to bring to you so keep tuning on our channel and let's keep inventing